this started out as a short that Gillian made with Jenny, right? Mm -hmm. In what year was that? When we shot the short in 2009, for in four days with no money, I was sitting in an editing room with my editor, and um, we had a rough cut of 30 minutes, and uh, it was amazing. Jenny's performance um, just blew blew me away. You know, we didn't watch dailies because it was a short, <laughs> and I, you know, wasn't a fine-tuned director yet, and I, I was watching all the footage, putting it together, and the performance just uh, was so stunning, and the way she, Jenny, as Donna, navigated between a range of like um, guttural laughs and heartbreaking moments, um, I just knew this needed to be told in a bigger way um, because of the performance, and also I wanted the story to be told in a bigger way. But we didn't have the money, and we didn't have the story yet, um, and we all had to go off and be grown-ups and, and our careers had to, you know, mature. And Jenny moved to L.A. and I stayed in New York and I met Elizabeth at a, a mixer at, at a IFP, which is like a great program because it brought Elizabeth and I together. And um, that's sort of uh, where the, the feature was, was born. Um, I had an early draft of the script and I was looking to find a partner um, to help me get this made. And Liz was that partner. Um, the development process was really just working on the script for a long time, figuring out Donna's character, turning her into a stand-up comedian, getting to know her family, her friends, her world, um, trying to find conflict when we never wanted the conflict to be, will she or won't she go through with the abortion? Um, you know, it's a complex emotional experience, but it's, we don't want that to be the question. We always knew it would be, you know, a decisive moment for her, and so it was really about Will she or won't she have the courage to let someone in, to connect to someone, to be honest with herself and with him? Um, and so really developing the, the relationship with Max and looking to some of our favorite romantic comedies of all time and, and really using those tropes but kind of infusing it with this modern twist. Um, and so, yeah, we financing was sort of the most boring part of what I do, but like a mix of equity and grants and Kickstarter and the tax credit and you name it, we did it. <laughs> um, and uh, it actually didn't take very long at all. I think we found the right partners who were really eager to make this happen and um, to be part of this crazy obvious child family. And, and then we shot for 18 days in Brooklyn and Manhattan in like my boyfriend's apartment, our friend's apartments. Uh, with the support of Planned Parenthood, we shot in a Planned Parenthood in, in Westchester. Um, and yeah, we were in post sort of all summer and fall Gillian and I both were working day jobs. I used to run the film program for Kickstarter for three years, and Gillian was at the Directors Guild of America. Um, and we took some time off for prep and production, but other than that, we were just totally ruining our boyfriend's lives and being workaholics. <laughs> Do you anticipate the conversation about it changing in any way when it starts to open in redder states than it's opened in so far? Probably. That makes sense to me. Um, I think what we can do um, is to keep our voice steady and keep moving in one direction, um, which is, of course, we are pro-choice and uh, want to be part of a movement that, you know, um, helps everybody make the choice that's right for them and um, secures those rights. But I, I've been thinking about this a lot because, <laughs> in general, I'm very uncomfortable with confrontation. I don't get in a lot of arguments with my friends, or my parents. Um, when I have fights with my husband, they really bum me out for like a long, long time. I recently heard that if you hurt a pig's feelings, that it will have hurt feelings for like two weeks. And um, But I can't avoid it. You know, we, we made this movie and I stand by it. And as we, as the script was being developed and I started to think more and more about it and watch what was going on in our country, um, found myself really wanting to have a voice um, in in the, uh, I hate to call it a fight, but it is. It, it's a struggle, um, but it seems like there's one side that, um, it seems like there are like some rules laid down about uh, how we should fight this fight, and I just reject that because I, I think you can say things and do things in a way that is earnest but also strong and doesn't have to be um, bitter and you know like the second you see someone's fist go up you punch them in the face and 
when, when we were in Dallas, there was a woman that stood up at the end of a very, very positive and, you know, really fervent Q&A that was, you know, really excited about the film. And she was upset about um, the way that one of the jokes went down in the movie. And she asked a question about it. You know, I don't agree with her opinion at all, but the crowd was sort of really against her. And that honestly made me more uncomfortable than her disagreeing with us was just... Um, the inability the to have a, a like a conversation where people just have good behavior, and so I think for us, we were really thoughtful about this film. I know sometimes we step over the line, but I think that what makes something modern is when it it's flexible with boundaries. Uh, you know, I, I think like you see that in general in like literature. You know, like it, it, and I think it's important for us to say we are a thoughtful playful, strong voice, and you shouldn't underestimate us, but you should also engage, and we're here for a proper, useful conversation.